Jerry, last road game for you. They, you, you played them pretty well here the first time around, losing by four. Just how good of it, how difficult is it to play in Callahan first of all? I mean, I mean, they're you know they're a good basketball team. I think um, you know, man for man, they might be the most talented team in the league. So you know, it's a, you have a tough um, you know tough road ahead ahead of you there. Uh, you know, they're obviously very very good in their building. Um, they've got one thing that you know really nobody else in our league has, and that's two really really good big kids. Or actually, three. Um, so um, that's a, you know that's a, probably as tough a matchup for us as, as we have in terms of, of the league. One of the things I mean, Damian's really come along uh, really well this year. Some some of the games early in the year he kind of was struggling to, to adapt. But uh, would you prefer him play at the four if you could? I mean, would he is he a better four? Or do you think he's a natural five? Uh. I mean, you know, he's, he's he's a basketball player. I mean, I don't, uh, you know, we really don't, you know, sit around as much as as anybody would think in terms of saying that this guy's a four, or this guy's a five, or this guy's a three, or this guy's a two. You know, we've got two very good guards, whether they're ones or twos. I mean, that's not, you know, we we got really good guards, and then we've got really good wings, and they're interchangeable, and they can play at different spots. Um, you know, Damian's a good basketball player. Um, he obviously has to work on his range a little bit before he can start to play a little bit more on the perimeter, but I don't see that as being out of the question as his game continually to get better. Coach, given their size, obviously it was a four-point game the first time around. I mean, what sorts of challenges does that present to you in terms of their size you know, we, 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 you know, we've got to be, we got to be tough. I mean, you know, they got... Uh, there are three fours and fives go to the glass every possession. Uh, we've got to be able to guard in the post, and we've got to be able to rebound the basketball. Um, you know, the things that they do extremely well is is miss shots. They you know they miss it, and then they really they really can go get it. Uh, and then I think you know their five is and the Holman kids probably as as good a post presence defensively as there is in the league. Um, Everybody wants to talk about, you know, about his offense or whatever, but, you know, the, the thing that he changes is, is the, the defensive end of the floor. And their other big kid is really, really good in the, the defensive end. So, um, you know, like I said to you last time, you know, we've got the guy that has the most shots blocked in the conference, but they have, they have the team that has the most shots blocked, and then they're very imposing around the basket. You look at the standings, there's... Five teams within one win of each other. You know what? what maybe is you see the story of this league? Is it more balanced than you, you usually see? Yeah, I mean, I you know, I think it's a you know, I think it to the positive side of it is is that um, you know you're you know anybody's capable of getting on a stretch and, and winning a bunch of games, and and I mean literally anybody one through ten. Uh, the downsides of it is it's probably a one bid league this year um, without. Somebody kind of just running the league like they did last year, um, or the year before that, or the year before that, you end up can have an upset in the in the tournament, and then somebody's going to get it in, in a large bid. Um, with the parity that's involved in the league this year, it, it, it's good because it's good basketball, and you have. Um, I mean, literally, if you look across the league in the last two weeks, um, you know the. Teams seven through or eight or or six through ten have been in games and have won games against the teams that are in the top tier of the league. The downside of it is probably when it gets to bid week, um, you're going it, to it's going to be whoever wins that league is going to get the bid for the tournament. It's probably a one bid league this year. Jerry, I guess I'll give you your hypothetical question. The way you guys have been playing the month of February has been probably the best all season long. If, if that was January, I mean, we'd be talking about a completely different setup here. I think if you started off where we are right now and it was November and you're starting your year, um, I think you would see, you know, somewhere between 12 to 14 or 15 wins out of this group and, um, you know, a little bit different. I think that, I think they deserve it. Uh, I think they deserve to get a win on the road when you've gone to NC State and and at Butler, and, you know, at at Wright, and 
I mean, you know, this group has played some very, very good basketball. Um, again, it's disappointing because your record does not show it. Uh, and, uh, and ultimately that's, you know, where you're evaluated on. But uh, this group, you know, this group has played some very good basketball this month. Coach, is that the encouraging thing for you is the fact that this team seems to be peaking right now as you kind of wind the regular season? That combined with the parity and the lead to, to yeah, and then, you know, and then, and then, Chad, you know, you're playing, you know, you got obviously three tough games after this game at home, but you're finishing your year at home, uh, you know, where we've played, you know, very well. Um, and, you know, and, I, and obviously you have a Bowling Green game, Bowling Green team coming in on, on Saturday that's, a very very good basketball team also so um, um, you know we just came out of a great practice again and, and a good film session and you know guys alert wanting to get better and and um, you know it's been a it's been a fun group to be around because of the fact that they've wanted to get better and have gotten better Jerry a lot of the coaches in the past couple of weeks have given this program great compliments. Uh, Gary Waters says this is a dangerous team. Referring to your club, Homer Drew says this is a team that's gotten much better. How do you do? You take that at all? I mean, do you do you look at that at all and, and believe those guys and that sort of thing? And do you I believe them? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, you know, Dana, it, it, that's you know, that's a compliment that as as a coaching staff and as a kids that you appreciate them saying. And there's business where. Uh, when all the only thing that you really get is negatives, and um, you know people can take and write, even after a good game or whatever, something backhanded or or something on the negative side, you know, for coaches to see, uh, because they're the ones that are looking at your game films, they're the ones that are looking at at your team as much as you are, and for them to say positive things like that, um, you know, does does mean something. It does mean something in terms of seeing a positive. They're seeing what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. And it's other people that are saying it rather than us saying it.